Hi friends, it's Cynthia Nessel at Create with Cynthia, and today I'm here to do a quick tutorial on how to make a super cute reindeer pillow. This is what we're gonna make. And we're gonna make it in a copper color, not this gold color. Um, and we're gonna make it to match my upstairs bedroom, um, where I'm also doing a guild, I did, in, um, some gilded copper ornaments, and those are gonna be on the tree as well. So. Um, I'll be doing a blog post, so go over to my website, createwithcynthia.com. You can subscribe to my newsletter. There'll be a link in the bottom of this message so that you can read the post, um, but it will have all the instructions on how to do this cute reindeer pillow. So let me tell you what you need first. Uh, the first thing you need is to go, go to Ikea or to just pick up um, a pillow sleeve somewhere. I do sell them on my Maker Studio website, um, but I got these from Ikea. They're only $4 and the inserts are six. And so that's like a really inexpensive price. They're super thin. So you wanna make sure that um, when you take it out of the package, the first thing you should do is iron it. And the second thing is you wanna put a paper bag in the inside of the pillow. Um, and you wanna make sure that your zipper's on the bottom so that you're working this way. So you need the pillow and then you need some Maker Studio products. You need some chalk art. I have the copper here uh, it's called metallic copper and um, for this pillow that I was showing you just a minute ago the reindeer pillow I used the metallic gold chalk art and I also used the preaching to the choir black chalk art so there's definitely some variations that you can do with the pillow we have a really pretty brown chalk art that's called molasses that you could use you could actually gild with the gold I didn't I just used the chalk art here so many options. The other two things that you need is you need stencils. So we have adhesive stencils. I'm using the, this one that's like a plaid. And then I'm also using the reindeer head. These are older stencils. Um, I've used them probably five or six times, um, primarily just with chalk art. Okay, so that's what you need. You need the pillow, you need the chalk art, and you need the stencils, just those three things. Um, and again, on my website, you can purchase these products. Um, if you go to the blog post, I will be really um, specific about exactly how to purchase them. Okay, so take your pillow sleeve, iron it first. I didn't iron it, mine. The first one I did, I did iron it, okay? Um, but this one I didn't iron it, and you can kind of tell. Um, it's not perfect, but it looks fine. And so just for purposes of this project, I am gonna go ahead and show you how that you could fix this, um, some of the, um, the white part that should have been in the copper over here and down here. I mean, I think it's gonna be super cute when you get the reindeer on there and you're kind of not gonna notice this, but you can fix it. Okay, so um, I chalk arted this this, this morning. Um, I did it um, without ironing it, which, which is why you see the creases. So now, I'm gonna just do the reindeer on the majority of it to show you how we use these adhesive stencils with the chalk art. Um, and then tomorrow I'll go back through and fix the bottom if I feel the need to. Okay, so my, my zipper's at the bottom and I'm just gonna take my reindeer stencil and I'm gonna center it into the, um, the middle of the pillow. I'm doing kind of the top upper part of the pillow. And then you wanna take your black chalk art which is right here and usually I use a scraper like this you could also use a, your finger if you wanted I'm going to use the scraper the chalk art is um, a chalk it is erasable but not on fabrics um, you really do have to push down you want to make sure that when you're um, when you are doing your stencil that the chalk is penetrating through the mesh. And if you don't give it a tiny bit of pressure, it's not gonna penetrate. Now, um, I've used this stencil a lot, and I'm not sure, I think you can see, um, the ear here ripped on me. So I'm gonna kind of um, be careful how I fix that. What's great about these stencils is you could cut them. So, you know, if you had the same situation where one ripped on you, um, you could always cut that part off or just work around it by putting some on there and some chalk art on there. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. 
and I just took my little scraper and I scraped it all down and, and then at the end I grabbed the excess off and put it back in the jar and then it's important that you close the jar right away you don't want too much air to get to the chopper because it will dry it out okay and so now is the time when I can just pull this off you can always peek first and if you see that there's not enough chalk art on the pillow, you could always re-go back down and um, scrape some more chalk art on there, but mine is looking pretty sweet. So cute. So what I like to do is I like to take these adhesive stencils and I like to keep a bucket of water right next to me. And then what I do is I just throw them in the water because you do want to get it wet pretty soon so that it won't stick to the adhesive stencil. Uh, but I forgot my bucket of water, so this time I'm not going to have that. So here is what we have. Oh my god, I think it came out really cute. I can't wait to put it in my room. Um, I also had the idea of putting maybe a red nose, um, a soft little piece of red cottony nose, or I was actually thinking about um, taking a little bell and gilding the bell in the copper color and then sewing it on there on the nose there but i'll definitely show you some pictures so you can take a look and see what that looks like so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial um i think my finished product looks super pretty we have tons of adhesive stencils in many different um uh shapes and sizes this is another one that you could do with the reindeer in the center if you wanted um so Pop on over to my website, createwithcynthia.com. Take a look around. I have furniture restorations. I write a blog post every day or so. And you can also purchase all the products that I use here. If you're watching YouTube, off of YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do a like for me. If you want to leave a comment below, that'd be great too. And if you hit your notifications button, then you'll be reminded when my videos are, are coming on. Okay? So thanks so much, everyone. Have a great day.